Libra. It's L here to do, okay, your um, mid-July general reading. It will not resonate with every Libra who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Those are our cards for love. Remember, um, if you comment below, it automatically enters you to win a free reading. So just go ahead and even if you were just saying hi, go ahead and comment below, all right? So let's get our cards for career and finance. Career and finance for Libra. Career and finance for Libra. Okay. I hope that everybody's doing well. Okay, and then let's get some additional messages of support. this started all right the bottom of the deck for love we have the world okay and it could be dealing with a fixed sign Scorpio Taurus Aquarius Leo I believe yeah um but anyhow the world talks about a chapter ending uh you've gone as far as you can go in a situation okay this is love so we'll say love Either you know with loved ones or in a love in a romantic love situation, a, a new chapter has to start. I mean, of course, there's free will. You can stay right where you are, but the cards say, okay, you de you're beating a dead horse now. Nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to be different uh, without you instituting the change here. This could be changed within uh, a relationship too. It doesn't have to be, you know, an ultimate ending and change of person. Okay, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Ten of Wands, the Fool, Five of Swords. Yeah, um, there's a lot of indecision within you. There's ego. There's uh, outside interference and influence here. It looks like Libra might want to walk away from a situation. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, lay down with his burdensome, maybe with that particular person or another person, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, I don't know if there's someone or something or some uh, several someones, uh, a particular party of people. They keep you bound to this situation. Um, outside interference, influence, um, friends, family, uh, it's like you want to leave, but you're worried about what everyone else will say. You know, you, you already have taken the leap, um, in secret. In, in not even in secret in your actions too it's like you're already doing what you want to do you may be stepping outside of a situ of a, of a situation a marriage a long term relationship um yeah you might already be doing that uh, but you for you aren't fully out of that situation king of cups here um So, so for some of you, if you're not already partner, you, you're dealing with maybe a king of cups. It doesn't have to be a, a water sign. It could be any sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Uh, particular, this is most times Scorpio or Pisces. Um, yeah, dealing with them is burdensome. It's taxing. Um, you already know that. But I think he's still going to choose to 
go in this new direction with them. Even though there's nothing but drama between you two uh, burden here. Even though there, there's been interference on your part or the other person. And then also for some of you, this is for that second scenario. This is um, you, you uh, inner conflict within yourself. This is the verbal battles between you and this person or you and other people. There's interference here. It's just too many people involved in a relationship. All right. Career and finance. The chariot. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a cancer. This is talks about success. The spirit helping you here with the seven. Um, getting in control of the light and the dark. The good and the bad. Um, the weaknesses and the strengths. Marrying the two so that you can have positive movement forward. The chariot goes forward and it carries one. The chariot doesn't carry you, mama, dad, cousin, brother, friend that you met. They do, you know, no. I know that Libra is big on family and it's a beautiful thing. But sometimes you have to enact a healthy level of selfishness and worry about you. And Because if you're not together, then you can't help anyone else. So the chariot carries one, career and finance. So you might be worried about your own finance and your own you know career going forward all right the hermit five of air again five of sword here lots of indecision queen of earth transformation uh definitely could be dealing with the scorpio some of you have just gone inward because of this the five of air there's a lots of indecision there's lots of arguing there's lots of um interference uh, one person says one thing, another person says another. Um, then you have your own thoughts. You're trying to make a fair and balanced decision. That's what the Queen of Earth does. She makes a decision that's fair, firstly for her, but more importantly for the, the entirety of the group. Um, she's able to do that because she's grounded. I think some of you need to do some grounding exercises. That would just really be you um, going out into nature. Uh, taking long walks, uh, being in natural environments around um, peaceful and neutral people. Um, if you're around someone that already has an um, opinion about a certain situation, then guess what? You take on their opinion and then you're right back here with that outside inter interference and influence. So um, I think some of you are contemplating a real and true ending here. Like, in like I'm you know I'm really done here or you're really trying to come up with a way of maybe how to transform a situation going inward maybe you're dealing with a Virgo um, but if not you're going inward and you're trying to figure out how can I make this work for me because I'm not 100% stable and happy and balanced that's a big thing for you Libra in this situation uh, this Scorpio it's burdensome here but it's also fun and it's love here it looks like you're going to take the leap not even knowing what's going on or what's going to be with this person uh, but at the same time um, yeah you're going to take the leap of faith here because I think some of you, you still love them you still are invested but there's a lot of indecision because you know that this is that person the ten of wands is crazy with them all right, new career for the Butterfly Oracle deck. Hobbies, nice. And be true to you. All right, so for some of you, your new career is or was a hobby. Uh, what turned out to be a hobby firstly is now, uh, what was a hobby turn is now turning into a new career for you. You didn't know you would have so much success and this and it's a beautiful thing um, some of you may even be trying to figure out how to transform the newfound success in this career into something long-term stable and just really trying to gather where do you want this to go you have to have a plan you know no plan then you're planning to fail so a uh, plan to succeed here and it looks like you're trying to do that especially with career and finance um, be true to you. You know, if this is uh, 
it looks like you are you're trying to, to practice a healthy level of selfishness here with the chariot you're gonna have victory here uh, but be make sure you're being true to you and what you want and how you want it done and all of that um, and no one else not not firstly maybe at, once you find your happiness you can worry about everybody else dietary change at the bottom of the deck pretty self-explanatory um, if you know you've been eating like crazy then hey the cards are saying you can't run from it dietary change um, uh, some of you have bad problems here too yeah there's some issues with like circulation and back problems uh, dietary change so I hope that this resonated for you Libra um, it looks like you're gonna jump into something you don't know how it's gonna turn out neither do I get a personal reading and see how it goes um, Libra Libras are like so lucky all the time anyway you guys are really lucky you go through a lot of stuff but at the same time you're really really lucky you can have like two bad things happen to you and then like 10 good things will happen so I, I think you know that's pretty lucky anyhow know that I'm praying for you pray for me as well all of my information of how to reach me is below go over to my website book a reading uh, send me an email we can set up something that way Find me on Instago, ask a question or two there. Choose to fund the page uh, by going to click the GoFundMe link. Uh, my ha handles for Instagram are below. You can follow me there. What else? Remember to comment so you can be automatically entered to win a uh, five minute free reading. Um, I did the winners last week. Um, so that's coming up again. Take advantage of the two question $20 reading, right? Thank you, Libra. Know that I'm praying for you. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.